Both Portugal and France are among the favorites at Euro 2024. France possesses a star-studded squad, led by Kylian Mbappe. Adding to the excitement, their captain has been confirmed to be joining Real Madrid after the tournament. In terms of title contenders, before the opening day, France was ranked just behind England, who boast a formidable lineup. Meanwhile, there's no need to overstate the anticipation surrounding Portugal at this year's Euros, as it could be the last time we witness Cristiano Ronaldo gracing the tournament. CR7 himself confirmed this after Portugal's round of 16 match against Slovenia, stating, This will be my last Euro. This encounter promises to be a captivating one, as one can anticipate the excitement it holds, especially since both teams boast two of the tournament's most notable stars. Ronaldo embodies a modern-day football legend in the twilight of his career, while Mbappé, a self-proclaimed fan of CR7, is predicted to succeed him as the continent's best player. However, looking at the current form of both teams after their initial performances, they have both revealed their own sets of issues. Despite being ranked only fifth before the tournament, Portugal quickly asserted themselves by securing the top spot in Group F after two rounds. This is also a rare occasion in recent years where we've witnessed them field a balanced squad, combining experience and youth, along with individuals at the peak of their powers. However, Ronaldo's recent performances with his teammates raised concerns. The team from the Iberian Peninsula has failed to score in their last two matches. It's worth noting that they have never gone goalless in three consecutive matches at major tournaments. Against Slovenia, they missed a penalty in extra time. Fortunately, that day, Diego Costa etched his name into the tournament's history. Goalkeeper Diego Costa became the first player at the Euros to save three penalties in their first three attempts. Moreover, he maintained a clean sheet for the entire 120 minutes. The alarming sign is superstar Cristiano Ronaldo's underwhelming form. Despite a promising start with a goal against the Republic of Ireland in a friendly before the tournament, this is the first time he has failed to score in the group stages of a major tournament like the Euros or World Cup. Currently, the Portuguese number 7 holds the record for the most shots without scoring in the tournament, 20. In the tournament's history, only four players are ahead of Ronaldo, led by former Portuguese midfielder Deco, with 24. Portuguese captain could very well break the record this year, as he still has at least one quarterfinal match ahead of him. On the other side, despite being highly rated, France is also struggling in front of goal. Since the beginning of the tournament, France has only scored three goals, two of which came from opponents' own goals, and even the remaining goal was only a penalty kick. The first positive thing we can look at is that Kylian Mbappé officially opened his Euro account in his second appearance. Besides, the foundation of France this time lies in the defence. Among the teams that have reached the quarterfinals, coach Didier Deschamps' side currently has the best defence, having only conceded one goal. So far, France has a total of 2.63 expected goals conceded at Euro 2024, the lowest of any team in the quarterfinals and the second lowest in the tournament overall after Serbia was eliminated. But keep in mind that Serbia only played three group stage matches. Therefore, in the quarterfinal match between Bordegal and France, it is not difficult to know which team is rated higher. Both teams have problems with scoring. But France is the team that has the advantage in defense, which is extremely solid. Moreover, the head-to-head -head record also seems to be in favor of France. Specifically, two teams have quite a history, as this is the third consecutive time they have met at the Euro Finals. In the previous two encounters, the Portugal were slightly better when they lost and beat France on their home ground to be crowned champion. But more broadly, this is the fifth time the two have met. Since Euro 1984, after 10 encounters, France has been the dominant team, if considering the first 90 minutes of regulation time, as they have never lost before. In fact, if considering the overall results, France have also won seven times. Ironically, the only time they lost in the encounter with the Selecao was as mentioned in the Euro 2016 final at their home ground, Stade de France. But the positive thing is that on both occasions, when they beat the Portugal at Euro 1984 and 2000,
they were the champions of the tournament that year. And of course, Roberto Martinez's side also has the right to dream of the Henry Delaunay Trophy if they beat France. Because in case you didn't know, the four teams that eliminated France right in the quarterfinals of a major tournament all went on to win the championship. It was Italy at the 1938 World Cup, Greece at Euro 2004, Spain at Euro 2012, and Germany at the 2014 World Cup. However, playing 120 minutes against Slovenia in the round of 16 could be a slight disadvantage for the Portugal. But at this point, there are no serious fitness concerns for the 2016 champions ahead of the quarterfinal. Roberto Martinez will still have his strongest squad at his disposal. And among them, Cristiano Ronaldo, the leader of this team, will make his 212th appearance for the European Silicao. The Portuguese are expected to be unchanged from the round of 16 match. Hero Diego Costa will still start in goal. In front of him will be the defense consisting of the fullbacks, Joao Cancelo and Nuno Mendes, alongside the central defensive duo of Ruben Diaz and Pepe. On the other side, Diego Jota and Francisco Conceicao were the only players subbed on from the bench in the previous match against Slovenia. But Bernardo Silva and Rafael Leao still held on to their positions in the team's attack. Meanwhile, Bruno Fernandes, Petina, and Joao Paulhinha were also at no risk of losing their spots in midfield. France will not have their strongest squad as Adrian Rabio is suspended due to yellow card accumulation after a foul during the match against any of Dembele, Eduardo Camavinga, Wesley Fofana, or Warren Zaire Emery could replace Rabio, ending on Didier Deschamps' plan. Besides, Kingsley Coman is another name that could be absent. He left the training camp to welcome the birth of his child. In the French defense, the familiar back four of Jules Koundé, Deo Upamecano, William Saliba, and Theo Hernandez will still protect the goal of Mike Mignon. The central midfield pair will still be Aurelien Chouameni and N'Golo Kante. Dembele is likely to be the name returning to the starting lineup alongside Antoine Griezmann and superstar Kylian Mbappe, while the player who could lose his place is Olivier Giroud. He was substituted in the 62nd minute of the previous match by Randall Kolo Mwani, and the striker himself played quite well. He was the one who forced John Vertonghen to score an own goal, giving France a narrow victory. In the press conference, both coaches showed confidence along with their carefully planned strategies. Roberto Martinez, the coach of Portugal, said, Now we are focused and ready for the match against France. They are very strong, but often leave spaces behind. They can make it difficult for their opponents. Hopefully we will create more chances. The tournament has entered a different stage because you can win. Many players are always ready and can create moments that leave a personal mark. Meanwhile, Didier Deschamps, the coach of the French team, was more cautious. We have a squad of quality and talented players, but so do many other teams. At the highest level, you need to be strong and united. Everyone is progressing, and there is one thing in common between these matches. Players play at the highest intensity. Although France seems to be playing rather restrictively, and has not been able to score from open play in the last five matches, including the goalless draw against Canada, France still showed a relatively open playing style along with many diverse approaches. As expected, Didier Deschamps is predicted to win in Hamburg with a supercomputer giving them a 39.4% chance of winning within 90 minutes at the Volkspark-Stadion. Meanwhile, that number for Portugal is 31% after 10,000 simulations based on the database. This means that 29.6% of our simulated matches could go into extra time and penalty shootouts. If extra time and penalty shootouts are taken into account, the supercomputer believes that the French have the advantage with a 66% chance of reaching the semifinals. This is clearly an exciting match that we have to watch. It's not just a confrontation between Portugal and France, it's also a clash between two generations, the veteran who is the team's star and a fan who idolizes him.